you very much, Shadrach. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I have the singular honor and privilege to invite to speak to us at this auspicious occasion the grandfather of modern Nigerian democracy, the president with the capital letter P, one president that never left anybody in doubt that he was in charge when he was the president of Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the longest serving head of state and the president commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. One of Nigeria's greatest prodigies and compatriots. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about none other than former president Matthew Okikiola Olushegu of Basanjo. A round of applause for him, please. The former head of state and the former president, commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hey, boss. Seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. The chairman of this occasion. The governor of Anambra State and former governors of Anambra State and former governors of other states. Your Majesty. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. You have heard what I have heard. So you can judge for yourself. But I have a few things to say. First, the chairman asked us for permission to sit down. Chairman, we happily granted you permission. But it reminds me of late Chief F.R.A. Williams. He was given in a court. He was making a case for weight of evidence because he wanted to really make his case for that uh, on that occasion on the weight of evidence after he has laboriously made his case he sat down and the chair collapsed he said that is the evidence of weight so your request was granted on the basis of evidence of weight. Oh, yeah, this is restriction. Okay. They have now said I cannot move outside this, this restricted area. I will try and keep 
é verdade. É que vão a um. To talk about when we first met immediately after the war. That you didn't remember that one of those who helped me in forming my first cabinet was yourself. And I thank you for it. And you remember it, how it happened. Let me come to Tukuma Soludo. When I had Tukuma working with me, as my economic advisor, we work very closely together. And he never one day misadvised me. Not one day. And I was so happy with him that I decided to send him to the Central Bank. He was the second Nigerian who was not a commercial banker of some sort sent to the Central Bank. And he performed so wonderfully well. But on one location, Soon after I appointed him, somebody came to me and said, Wow, you have ruined the, uh, the economy of Nigeria. I said, How? He said, An able woman, Minister of Finance, an able man, Governor of Central Bank, then you have really completed task of running the economy of Nigeria. Now, I don't know why he said that, except for what I can call hypophobia. And uh, don't take that lightly. It remains, it persists, and I like what Chief Nwayamu said. I believe on the 13th of January 1970, Biafra died and was buried actually in the house of my friend here, Chief Simon Okeke in Amichi. Is that correct? But when you have this type of thing that was said to me, and the type of thing that you know is going on, what I call, as I have just called it, what do we do with it? I believe we have to go back to the scripture, which says we must conquer evil with good. And whoever you are, wherever people are being afraid of you, 
you must make yourself friendly to those who are afraid of you and earn their friendship by being good to them. And that is what we have to do. I have personally experienced that. And nothing wins friendship like you being friendly. But then, for me, the appointment of Ngozi Okonjo Iwala and the appointment of Chukuma Soludo were probably best of the appointments that I made when I was president. We used to, I used to have fun because Chukuma was not really a fan of the World Bank. And Ngozi came from the World Bank. And we had a woman who was on the desk of Africa in the World Bank called Kruger. And any time Kruger was coming to Nigeria, we had to prepare as if a president of another nation is visiting us. And Kruger will come and will give us what he thinks we are not doing right. He will then write a letter to us, which I had to reply. And I will give that letter to a copy to Chukuma. Give me a draft, a copy to Ngozi. Give me a draft, Chukuma's draft will be so strong and almost saying no to everything. Then one day I called him. Of course, I would take the two drafts and spend the night and write the letter that we go to uh, Kruger. And one day I called Chukuma. I said, look, never you say no to World Bank. Otherwise, they will rub your face on the ground. But never you do their bidding. And that was the way we handled the World Bank together, and we succeeded. Chukuma was a good economist, and he turned out to be a good central bank governor. Because central bank is not like a commercial bank. Central bank is for development. And part of the problem we have suffered in the past and we are suffering today is central bank has not performed its job as a development bank as it should have. Well, I left Chukuma in the central bank and as he, as he himself has pointed out, I went back home. And I like what you have said about home. I will come back to some of the things you have said uh, before I conclude. But 
because of my experience with Chukuma, I am acting for something greater in my mind. Until one day, he came to me and said he was going to contest election as governor of Anambra. I did not disguise my anger against him. And I said, Chukuma, governor of Anambra, no, I see you for something national or international. What is this governor of Anambra? Of course, he said to me, you started this. You remember one morning when we were together and I came for morning devotion and I say, let us pray for the new governor of Anambra. And I snapped and say, what prayer are you making? Of course, my experience of Anambra then was Dr. Ngige and Chris Uba. And then you will not blame me for my reaction. So I then said to Chukuma, I said, when people like you are running, oh, he, he, he reminded me, because he said what I said on that occasion was, I said, when people like you are running away, so what do I expect? Hooligans will take over. And then I should not go. Uh, he, 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 people like him should not complain. So he reminded me of that. I said, Oh, yes, I remember I said that. Well, he went. You didn't make it on that first occasion, if I remember, as governor. Then this next one, he came. And when he came, of course, I remember what I've said before. So I just said, Chukuma, you can go. But still don't forget that I reserve you for national and international. But both is governorship as an appetizer. And then the main menu will come later. So you are on your appetizer stage. And the performance, as we have seen today and as you have told us, confirms what I said to you on that occasion. From what I've heard and what I have seen, you have not disappointed me. And I believe you have not disappointed the people of Anambra State. I like the five uh, items, and you know me. I believe any item that you want to deal with that are more than your 10 fingers, there are too many. It should not be more than 10 fingers. And you have made yours even five fingers. Good. 
and you can easily follow. And uh, identify what progress you are making. I commend you for that. But let me, on that, talk about your first item infrastructure and economic transformation. From what you have said to us and from what we saw, particularly on road infrastructure, you are making progress. If in one year, 365 days, 52 weeks, 12 months, you can do as much as you have done with lean resources that you have, 261 kilometers of road, then they will do a lot more in the next three years. But I like the point you make about agriculture. I don't talk about agriculture now, I talk about a Greek business because it is all the way from equipment for land preparation up to food on the table. But let me advise, please, on agriculture, let us take not more than three or four items. You seem to want to go for palm, or palm. Do it and let Anambra become the leading oil palm producers in Nigeria. You can do it. And I know you can do it. I'll give you the example of Vietnam, a place I have visited about four times in the past two years. Vietnam was not a country producing coffee. They decided to go into coffee production. Within a space of six years, Vietnam became the second largest producer of coffee in the world only second to Brazil. You have the experience, you have what it takes. Let Anambra become the leading oil palm producer in the country. You must, of course, take one food crop warm food uh, and I will suggest that you take cassava which is both food and industrial then of course you have to take one livestock at least poultry and aquaculture because you have water, are the two that I will recommend to you. <clears throat> On human capital development, you have put it in your statement. You want to develop for whom? And you want to develop for export, human capital development. And everything you have said about that, I very much commend your effort. But when we develop our human capacity for export, 
It's not a waste. In fact, the experience they bring back, the outreach they get, the intellectual uh, uh, property they bring home, and of course, the money they send back home is very, very important. And like you have said, east or west, home is the best, and they will also be looking forward to coming back home. And what you are doing at home will be indeed very important. Let me just talk and mention two things about manufacturing or industry. You talk about drug manufacturing, storage, and marketing. Why can't Anambra State also be the drug manufacturing center for Nigeria? And when you look at the, uh, the paucity of the drugs that we manufacture in Africa, it's less than 2% of the, uh, the drugs that we use. So the market is very, very un untouched, not to talk of unsaturated. And then you have my brother who has gone into automotive. When I was military head of state, we have automotive motive in the battle, in Lagos, in Kaduna, in Nanugu. They are today all dead. And the reason why they are all dead is because they were all left in the hands of government. That's why I'm happy that the one that is happening here is private sector led. It should be encouraged and it should be strengthened. Let me also say one thing. Talent. As you know, I am a talent hunter. I just go for talent. You know, anybody can be put in any place, but anybody cannot be a performer. To perform, you need certain attributes, certain competence, and talent is one of those things that you need. Let us develop talents and use them locally. Let them even be used in the private sector in government, in um, uh, uh, in um, the private sector and uh, in the um, or what do you call it? Um, uh, that's not the, not the social. What, what do you call them? The one that are, uh, uh, that are um, not public, not private, the, the, the third one. What do you call them? They are non-governmental organizations. 
what do you call them? NGOs. Yeah, but you have a, a word for one one word you use for them. Huh? What do you say? Yeah, but uh, the the NGOs. Um, and, and and we need talent, whether in the private sector, in the public sector, or in the uh, NGOs. And we can search for them. We can develop them, and we can make them serve our purpose. Now, I want to thank you for making me part of this. I want to thank you You come out that when we work together, you are a true loyal servant, a true performer. And you've shown it here. So I still believe that after you are finished here in Anambra, which is an appetizer, you will still have to get the menu, the main, uh, the main meal, or what do they call it? What, what, what they call it, uh, the, after the appetizer, what do you have? The main menu. The main course, thank you. You will still have, have the main course. For me, either internationally, preferably, or nationally, I wish you well. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Governor. Ladies and gentlemen, the oracle has spoken. Can we put our hands together for our delectable elder statesman, a president of this country for eight years. He is also the orga of our orga. The orga of our orga, the orga of our governor. Can we put our hands together for him? This is a clinical endorsement of the governor's achievements within one year. A man of great.